Do you want to learn how to actually read and understand any company's balance sheet in one minute or less? Then you've come to the right place. Welcome to the C-Suite Network. I'll show you how it's done. On screen, I have six years worth of balance sheet data for our example company, Apple. Now every company's balance sheet is structurally going to look the same, assets on the top, liabilities and equity on the bottom. Okay, now the first thing we want to ask ourselves in looking at the balance sheet is what is the most important number or metric we want to calculate that will help us instantly know if we're going to make a good decision in pursuing an investment consideration for this company. First, we want to determine if the cash balance is going up over at least a period of five years. Okay, the cash line is the first balance on every single balance sheet, okay? Is this number increasing over a period of at least five years? Okay, so that's the first thing you need to do. If yes, don't quite celebrate yet, okay? Now immediately compare the cash to the short-term debt line down in the liabilities section. Okay, so what we want to do is to determine if the cash balance is increasing in proportion with the company's short-term debt. Now, why is that particular ratio so important to look at on the balance sheet? Well, if the cash balance is increasing in a one-to-one -one or close to one-to-one -one proportion with short-term debt, that indicates that the company is not adding cash to its balance purely from its operations. It indicates that its cash balance is increasing as a result of it taking on short-term loans, right? Those loans are actually padding its cash account and increasing it not the sale from its product or services. The most important aspect of any company is to determine if it's producing and generating cash purely from its business operations. If a business cannot generate cash from its business operations, then it's not a business, it's a hobby. Okay, that's a quick check you can calculate in pretty much an instant. See on screen, I did it for Apple. Okay, quick intro, my name is Nelson Alvarez. I'm a CPA and executive management consultant. Okay, let's keep going. Ideally, what you want to see is an inverse relationship between the increase in cash and the decrease or stabilization of short-term debt over a period of at least five years. Okay, again, you don't want to see cash trending up in proportion to short-term debt because that indicates the company can't generate a profit or generate cash. Okay, I go more in depth in my video linked above, balance sheet analysis, so check that out if you're interested. Second most important question to ask when analyzing a balance sheet, does the company have any long-term assets and is that balance increasing over time? Now, why is that so important? Long-term assets typically indicate that the company generates a lot of cash and is profitable. It clearly indicates that the company has excess cash to invest outside of its core operations, okay? Long-term assets tend to be things that are not directly necessarily correlated to the core operation of the business, okay? It could be real estate, it could be the value of other companies, it could be the purchase of suppliers, okay? Seeing this number increasing uh, and increasing by large amounts over time, again, indicates a very healthy company that can generate a lot of cash flow. This is what I consider a pure litmus test that will let you know that this company is a company worth consideration of an investment. Remember this, if you remember nothing else, we only want to invest in companies that generate a ton of cash. So before you go crazy with stock charts and all these analyses, look at the fundamentals first. It doesn't matter how innovative or how trendy a company is, a company cannot execute in its ideas if it doesn't have the cash and capital necessary to do so. As the old saying goes, a great idea without cash is just a great idea. Last important ratio to perform is the net income to long-term debt analysis. Okay, this ratio takes the net income from the income statement and divides that by the long-term debt down in the liability section. Okay, for Apple, net income in 2020 was $50 billion and its long-term debt was $100 billion. Okay, divide the two and I come up with 0.5. That is a great ratio. Okay, the rule of thumb that I use and that Warren Buffett uses is you want to be able to see net income hypothetically pay off long-term debt in two to three years if needs be, okay? So that's a ratio of about 0.3 or greater net income divided by long-term debt. Okay, a ratio of 0.3 or better indicates the company took on a healthy level of long-term debt that it can easily manage without slowing down the company on debt and interest repayments. Okay, what you don't want to see is a company with, say, for example, a billion dollars in net income, but $20 billion in long-term debt, okay? That essentially would indicate that if it had to, the company would take 20 years to pay back its long-term debt 
based on its net income levels, okay? That's an unhealthy, unmanageable long-term debt balance, and it really indicates the company is stretching itself too thin. It will be using a bulk of its cash towards paying off debt, not necessarily reinvesting in the company, issuing dividends, and increasing your stock price. Okay, we wanna see companies with low levels of debt, strong cash flow from operations, because that means they can pivot, they can weather economic storms, and they can do a lot more with their business, okay? The more money you have, the more options you have. Okay, that's it. Those three metrics, those three key ratios will let you know pretty much instantly whether this is a good company to consider future investment, okay? It doesn't necessarily mean you can invest in them right away. It just means they're a candidate for further consideration for investment. Okay, if you wanna know more, I go into much more details in two videos on balance sheet analysis. So check those out if you're interested. Hope to see you there.